light and let God cover me with his, with his love. God speaks to my life that way. He can speak to yours. Let him touch you through prayer. Number six, learn to pray about things throughout the day. Paul says, pray without ceasing. Everywhere you go, just open up your heart and pray. Ask God for things. And he'll hear the answer. He'll answer your heart. He'll answer the call. Pray about things all day long, every day. When you see somebody who has a need, pray for them. When you see somebody that, that uh, uh, has a burden, pray for them. When you see your pastor, pray for him. When you're just walking down the street, pray for, the, pray for people you see. When you're in the grocery store and somebody's walking toward you, pray for them. You don't have to say anything to them, just pray for them. You don't have to know them, just make your life a life of prayer. Pray for them. And let God use you in a mighty way in your prayer time. Number seven. Keep a record of your request and your prayers, especially the answered prayers. Now, Flora and I, we use our Bibles. We don't, we don't have a prayer journal. We, uh, let me find, uh, let me see if I got a page that's not written on. Uh, yeah, here's one. We have a Bible that has columns on either side that we write in. We write our prayer requests. We write our prayer journal right in the scriptures. And when we get through with it, we go buy another Bible. And we save these. You know why? I save it because I got commentary. I got things that God has told me in the pages of this book. Flora saves hers to give to the grandchildren. She'll give them to the grandchildren. Now, we only have one grandson, so I got to wait till he gets married to give him one of my Bibles. But that's what we do. We just record everything in the Word of God. And you can do the same thing. And then when there's a prayer request, we write it in the margins of our Bible. And then when God answers that prayer, we go back to that page and we write the answer. And when you look back, I picked up a Bible the other day that I wrote in back in 1993. And I saw all the answered prayers that God had answered through the, through the pages of, of things that I, I wrote down and I prayed. God did it. And sometimes I didn't even notice that it was answered prayer until later, much later. But God did that. You can do that as well. Keep a record. Number eight. Now, when you go to pray, you put on the whole armor of God. It's what Flora and I do. We start our day out. Lord, I put on the whole armor of God. I put on the helmet of salvation to protect my mind. I put on the breastplate of righteousness to protect my heart. You see what I'm saying? I put on the belt of truth to gird my loins so I can walk in the way. My feet are, shed, are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I have the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. I have the I have everything that God has for me. And then I say, Lord, you go before me like a mighty warrior and you protect my back like a, like a band of angels. Protect me and guard me as I do battle today in the name of Jesus. And you can do the same thing. There's nothing magical about how I pray. Nothing magical at all. You can do the exact same thing that I do because you're a believer. You don't even need an intercessor. You are a priest of God. You don't need anybody else. You don't even need the preacher. I mean, to pray for you. You could do that. You have these things. Number nine, if you're by yourself, pray out loud. I love to pray out loud. I like to hear myself talk. Pray out loud. Let me tell you why I pray out loud. My mind wanders. In, a, in, in prayer time. It just wanders. And I find that when I pray out loud, I, I don't wander so much. I stay focused on what I'm doing. And when I pray out loud, I, I can hear myself and I hear uh, my voice cry out to God for other things and other people. Pray out loud. But even then, my mind wanders a little bit. And so that's number 10. If your mind wanders, sometimes it's God telling you to pray for that that you're talking about. 
your mind is wandering on. If your mind is focused on it, pray about it. It's what God is speaking to you about. He's touching your life. He's trying to make a difference in your heart. Just pray it out loud. These are the things that God does to help you in your prayer time. God is a loving God. He is a wonderful Heavenly Father. And our prayer time is for Him and Him to speak to us. Several years ago, I was in Brazil. Flora was with me and we had taken some people from our church. And we were praying up on this mountain. It wasn't a mountain, it was a hill outside of Alfanus, Brazil. And you could see the city down below. And there were so many, so many lights on. And we were praying over the city. And this young man cries out, God, if you love these people as much as I do, you would save them from their wickedness. And I thought, man, he's got his theology mixed up. Nobody loves anybody more than God does. God's love is pure. And I got him off to the side. He spoke a little English. And I told him, I said, don't pray that way. You don't love these people more than God. God is doing everything he knows to do through you to reach these people. You pray for the people, but God already loves them. He loves them more than you can ever imagine. He loves you more than you could ever understand. That's who He is. He cares for us. He's open to whatever we want to do in our lives. He's there. You see, our prayers are like um, guided missiles. They'll go anywhere in the world. I can pray here tonight, and I can pray for people in Brazil, like I do every day, and the missile will just go. And it will land wherever I want God to land. And there is no anti-missile in the world that can stop your prayers from reaching its destination. God has said that His Word will never return to Him void. It will always finish its mark. Always. 